Quiet on the set. You're listening to WRFB, Radio Free Britannia. And no other freaking better place in the world than Deltona, Florida. Here you are, lunch with no other than the dynamic duo, Laz and Jack. everybody this is Laz and this is Jack welcome to another edition of lunch with Laz and Jack where we interpret the news so you don't have to that's right bringing you our own brand of news right here inside Trotted Avatar five days a week for your viewing and listening pleasure welcome to today's show everybody it is Thursday August 24th, 2017, here inside Trinity Avatar. That means it's Thirsty Thursday, one week away from launch out here. Want to say hello out there to you guys? Bodux is uh, oh, yeah. Land Cricket Eagle. Yeah. How you guys doing? Of course, uh, the regular irregulars joining in saying hello out there. Got to love yes. these guys. And Eagle, gotta gotta say thank you. Thank you for those donations yesterday. And Sean Butts Jack has been watching streams all morning. Uh has he? <laughs> oh yeah. At about seven or like five hours ago, so seven o'clock in the morning, he was watching uh Eat the Noob, then he was watching some English chick. I I I am like Twitter or I mean Twitch stalking him somehow. I don't know yeah, that. well yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Twitch stalking. I I I, I know. It, Jack's just yeah. a stalker. And, and Drager, and Drager, twitching away. <laughs> twitch, twitch. Well, m- maybe it's because I was up that early to uh, make a delivery. Oh, what kind of delivery, delivery did you have to have make to today? Bring oh, it home. bring it on home. I, I had to make a delivery for uh, somebody, and so I delivered some gold and some kodos. I was purchased off a of shroud marketplace. And ah, very nice. Then, then a. a discovered that the hosting company is having some DNS issues. That's right. So, so, so for so those of you guys wondering out there, uh, yes, uh, there is some issues with the hosting company on the marketplace. Yeah. So if you're having a little problem, it, it, it's, hang, it, it's, hang. It's, it's intermittent. I mean, so, yes. So that is the hosting company. It's not the website. That's right. Now, of course, we've got all sorts of fun stuff lined up today. Um, of course, we had the announcement yesterday that uh, the at least 45, 45 notes were out. Well, That's right. I was going to say, also yesterday came out the release 45 post-mortem mini-telethon. Yes, Ooh. that's coming yeah. up on the 6th of September. We'll tell you a little bit more about that. Yes. Later on as well. But the uh, hot topic, and I got to double check something. But of course, uh, one, one of the hotter topics out there actually made the NBNN Daily Britannian was uh, all the folks talking about SodaCon Austin 2017. And I uh, started with a little post by Winfield uh, stating that, uh, well, let me. Let me read it for you. It's actually, let's just drop that on screen just for giggles and grins. Bringing it up right now. Loading the paper. Well, I, I just jumped right to the uh, post itself. That, it's, that's he, no star- he started on page uh, six, I believe it was, at the bottom. Uh, okay. So I'll give you a chance to get that up on screen for everybody. Are you talking the suggestions for panels? No, no, no. Page six, bottom. Get on the same page. Yeah, 
adventure. Next to last post. My my hotel reservations might are made. My costume is ready. Oh, you have page <laughs> six. Sodacon. I'm on, hey, I'm on page hey, six. six. It's the next to the last post. I mean, it, yeah. yeah. Refresh. Refresh. Maybe. Sodacon Austin. Yeah. Let's my see. hotel reservations are made. That's what I just said. And you're like, no, that's not it. Get on the same page. Come on. My favorite mug is cleaned for mead. My fishing That's pole is no nearly I'm... packed. I use it daily, of course. And my worms are growing at a rapid rate. Uh, hey, wait, how's he growing them in, in Shroud? Uh, he's bringing them to SodaCon. He's talking real worms. No, it, no. It, it's gummy worms. <laughs> this is a uh, gummy worm. Yes. Fused with vodka, hopefully. Did he buy the five-pound pack of sugarless, sugar-free gummy worms from Amazon? Ooh, and, but <laughs> you know, the past several telethons, it's like he brings uh, gummy worms and he puts them inside of the the spoon, um, and then he serves them to people that way. He serves them, passing them around on the spoon. Yes. yes. Okay. And so, if you but ever, of course. We've had a, had a couple other people check in behind that. Uh, yep. I gotta love it. It looks like we got a lot of folks coming in costume. Of course, uh, Duke Gregor says costume. What's that? Yep. I'm wearing what I wear every day. He always looks good. <laughs> oh yeah. So. And uh, Catherine Rose. Still, still doesn't have a costume just yet, but she's working on it. See, I suggest so those... I suggest the the bodice bottoms and coconut bikinis for, <laughs> and don't forget you need your flaming coconuts with your nightmare mask for the fast for, travel. For fast travel, absolutely. But uh, I can see. I just love seeing the posts out there. Everybody's getting ready to. Uh, Head on over to Austin, and of course, it's going to be a good time by everybody. Looking and, forward to it this year. And Catherine Rose does say that um, she's a little has her fishing pole and worms um, are ready, but she can't touch the worms, and so maybe she needs someone to bait her hook. And that would be I, the master the baiter, baiter Winfield. Yes, That's the right. master baiter would be able to definitely help with that. I, I believe he would be able to help out with that, so that oh, shouldn't yeah. be a problem. Ooh. Otherwise, I'm I'm sure, Catherine, yeah, that uh, you would have many other noble men stepping up to bait your hook and, for you. And some so. women. So uh, you, you can't, <laughs> can't leave them out. I mean, yes. That's that? true. True. Very true. I mean, if, I mean, if, if Kinga was there, she'd be serving her up in stone soup. Oh, absolutely. Uh, K Kinga would be serving Catherine up, you mean. That's right. That's King, King likes to cut up anybody she can get her hands on to throw it into the stone soup. Yes. Just ask Brickbat. She murdered him like 300 times. And, uh, and Minerva. Yeah, and Minerva. Uh, well, she had to keep Minerva alive so that Minerva can uh, lift her up in the pot so she can put stuff into the pot. So. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> But anyway, moving right along, it is Thirsty Thursday here on the show. And uh, again, I went to go look something else up. And of course, Squirrel. Squirrel? Squirrel. I know. Got sidetracked. Well, so Led Zepp's asking where the, where them, them devs? And they're probably doing what they're talking about in the stand-up corner. Uh was oh, he asking he's about that? Yeah, he's asking he's that in game right now. Well. Oh, we need body parts in the game. You guys are talking about it. Talking about oh, we got body parts. Oh, like mean, the, like the parts. UO. You remember UO? You hack your victims all up to pieces. Absolutely, well, I remember that. That was UO. Well, you would hack your victims up so that their bodies would decay faster. Yeah, so that they couldn't come back. <laughs> I mean, it, it's like you act like we don't have body parts. I mean, here, here we've got some arms, we've got some, uh, some heads. I want to make my own. You want to make your we've own? Got some we'll zombie just cut parts. Your arm off. Come on, yeah, I want to hack my victims up. All you got to do is cut your arm off, man. Yeah, that's all. Uh, <laughs> I, I, need, I need my appendages. No, you don't. Some are very valuable. Some are very, very valuable. 
<laughs> yeah. Well sought after. It, definitely not yeah. well sought after. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. So let's move but, on. Uh, yes, uh, of course, if Led Zepp's asking for it, then I guess we can go ahead and give it to him. Well, that's today's. Yeah, that's you today's. Want. We, we want... We want Hump Day's stand-up corner, which hump is day. Wednesdays. Don't forget the devs, what they do is say every single day they have a meeting where they say, hey, I worked on this yesterday, I work, I'm working on this today. Something random gets written down, eventually gets posted to the forums, and then we get to interpret it. Yep. yep. That pretty much yep. sum it up? And, yep. and so they break well, it up. Break. Every single like group of devs goes in at a different time, and they say that's when they it and then it gets recorded so over in the art department you had bob the builder cult of bob he's working on the gothic inn whereas damon damon walter he's hanging out in the weekly character meeting and working on blowing what a character he's he is, he, he's I working think. on the visual effects for blowing not done yet Jeez. Yeah, Jack can't well, wait to get blown in game all right That's well if you're gonna if you're gonna get blown in game I mean that takes a lot of reference material to look at and it takes <laughs> <laughs> friggin Gix <laughs> oh Gix isn't doing the blowing here blowing that's Damon, Damon yeah. all right. he's looking at all reference <laughs> material yeah so, G- so Gix blowing smoke in your face what yeah hmm. so it is the gu- the gust <laughs> visual effects polish I mean, uh, he, he, you get a little polish while right? you're getting blown yeah. is that oh, exactly. there's Gix there he is and then after there that we do have Fletcher Fletch he, he's working on the weekly character meetings as well, and bugs. Bug. And the ugly fist. He's working on the weekly character meeting, and the Lord British helmet with Lord British helmet. The rat tail. Be nice. Oh yeah. I have it on special information that there's going to be a massive rat tail, and occasionally you can cut off two inches. <laughs> Then the almighty, the, the, the almighty Gix Vargach, uh, Matt Psh, has joined us in the studio <laughs> in game and smoking he, that pipe. Right yesterday, there. looking in, handsome. Yeah, in yesterday's meeting, he reported that he was hanging out in the weekly character meeting, and he was rigging the tree creature and skinning it. He said he was doing a lot of tree boning yesterday. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, I mean, th- that, that's what we're looking for in the stand-up corner. corner is uh, Well, he said it live in-game, okay. so. I, 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 I see rigging. I don't see... I see now, that was, Led Zepp. Rigging Zappa. was from Led Zepp. You don't listen to him. Hey. Stay out of my <laughs> stay out of my conversations. Put you? your uh, pants on, Jeff. Oh, oh, yeah. Then Reed, he was working on the Dry Dock Pirate Town Galleon home and Arr. the Obsidian home. Then over in design, Beezus. The bees. He's working on the Norgard NPCs recipes. Norgard NPCs and recipes. And recipes. I hope it'll be nice if we can have recipes for Norgard and PC. Yes, it would be. Love that. And then uh, Seawolf. Seawolf. He's working on the crags. The crags. (laughs) Yeah. Whereas Damien, he's working on Highvale Outskirt quests. And then Dan the Man. Dan the Man, Brennan. Working on middle down spawning and puzzles. NFG cat. Working on the documentation review and Unity assets review. For Sanio, he's working on quests. Quests. Yes. Lum the mad. Lum the mad. Working on bugs. Bug. 
And he finally finished Ultima 1, and he's based... <laughs> at the end of the game, you're supposed to report thy feet to Lord British, and so he's finally trying to get around to that. Uh, he, he, he's got a long way to go to do that. I know. He's got a, a eight more Ultimas to work on, and then after that, um, he'll be prepared. <laughs> of course, all he's going to do is what everybody else did, just uh, grab oh. his cell phone and point down and take a picture of picture of his feet and report them. Yes, yes. Absolutely. What? <laughs> report thy what? feet to Lord British. All that <laughs> white stuff on your feet. They're called socks. <laughs> <laughs> the liquid dude. The La liquid. Laz is a socks with sandals kind of guy, so I don't doubt that the socks are there. Never mind. <laughs> Whereas Never mind. the energy vortex list Rostov yesterday in yesterday's meeting, he says he was try still trying to straighten out the crooked shank. What the hell is that about? What is that? Crooked Jeez. shank is one of the new scenes, man. I mean, do, you not, do, you, do you not pay attention to the show? He does not. Uh, oh, I heard crooked shank lots of times. You guys yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. He didn't give me, the, give me the episode of the explanation of Critic Shank, please. Well, we, we've even posted yeah, right. pictures, pictures of the Critic <laughs> Shank. Let's go to last Friday. Go to, go to Monday's show it's, and you can see some pictures of Critic Shank. Then over in tech, we do have Eric working on stealing. Mm -hmm. I was playing with a little of that last night. Oh. <clears throat> So I I will say that um, I wanted to test the fees and uh, uh, on the QA server I took every single bit of uh, produce cheese meat fish etc in that little market in Alice Head. Yeah, I did the same thing. I and I ran down over to the market right here behind right, right near the bank behind the studio and and guards we, guards not one guard was called uh, yeah. no i i got messages and uh, well, i actually got whacked for 100 gold wait the the the, the message oh, i man. got was i hear something and it's like the npcs were looking right at me so maybe <laughs> i am much smoother and Stealing from NPCs than you are. Either that or you've been training. Um, I don't I know what you're talking about because my subterfuge tree is nearly empty. <laughs> Mr. Empty Pants. Yeah, there, there. I don't even know where the stealing skill is. Um, it's not there. See, so it's like, yeah, I couldn't, I. There is no skill, but I do have 77 points in subterfuge. That's right. Look at all that stolen bread. And all I got to do is come look at them a lot, and they know exactly oh, who the perp is. And <laughs> Mark, it's smart, man. Yeah, and Cat's trying to nibble on the the, the damn chicken headphones. bone. Oh, the headphone cable. Get, Still get dealing with that out. thing. The, the cat? But the, the chicken bone is over to my left, though. Yeah. Uh, Give him the lamb cord. Let, me Let see him it. chew on that. Show, 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 us, fun. show us the chicken bone. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I had to pick it up. Chicken bone. Chicken bone. <laughs> getting, his ankles, getting his ankles shred. Well, at least we know the cat eats well. Huh? Yeah. Ate some chicken. Yeah, we had a cat eat a couple of chicken oh, look at that. in the yeah, neighbor's yard yeah, the other day. Yeah. That was that was a mess. She, 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 so last last night she did jump up on the kitchen counter, hijacked the chicken bone with the chicken, and then <laughs> with the chicken. Yes, yes. Oh my god! So, so the whole dinner got dragged on the floor. Out of the trash is what he's saying. No, she no, no. The it whole sounds like leg. it sounds like the chicken was dragged across the floor. Is that so, correct? So, so she did take the chicken leg, and then from there, it's like I looked around for it and couldn't find it. And this morning, she she brought it in her mouth, looking like pebbles. Um, uh, and uh, deposited right next to the desk. <laughs> like, I'm done. You can you can dispose of this now. I think is what she was saying. So yeah. yeah. 
Uh, but where was I? Um, um, let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta. We were... Uh, JY. Yeah. JY. Working on localization support and the Travian meeting, localization meeting. Oops, if I bring that back up. Uh, then Wizard Smoke. <laughs> He was puff puff past the pet emotes and localization support. Now pet emotes, ooh. Well, yeah. I mean, don't don't forget the, your pets are supposed to do emotes on command. Yes. So, uh, so that will be coming at some up. point in time. <laughs> yeah. Whereas the Deathbringer one and only, he's still in investigating performance. Where the Burning Toad still working on installers, Tassilos migrating the database, and preparing some API support for Black Sun. Remember, those that's the publisher in Eastern Europe. So it's working on And make sure they get yeah. paid. That's right. Russians. Yeah. Is that the Russians? That Russians balked its stage. Collusion, yeah. man. It's collusion. So, I'll just refer to it as Eastern Europe. Then over in useless ev overhead, we do have Andrea working on the tra Travian localization meeting and localization forms and bugs forms. Bug. Born working on the general business. Business. Barrack working on the business. Eric working on the telethon planning, the QA server announcement and trailer contest work, and the re weekly community meeting. Whereas Hutch, he's reviewing the Elven Inn and the we weekly character meeting. Whereas the Attenwood, he's working on sanity tests and regression testing and Travian localization meetings. Arafina, she's also regressing her, her sanity while testing. And customer support. Wonderful customer support. And, and the all-important Akelabeth cassette cover framing support. <laughs> for those lords of the manor that qualified wow. for I, I didn't realize they were going to get a framed copy they didn't oh, yeah. say anything about a framed copy yes yes they did what? yeah it's a framed copy of a Kelebeth, um the uh, just like I mean, that was as far as i recall reading it just said a copy of the cover and it didn't say anything about framing but hey Fra framed Fra and with the cassette that's numbered Signed? Very nice. Signed? It, yes, I believe it is signed. Yes, I believe it's signed Ooh, also. Uh, then, then, last but not least, the Dork Star working on the Release 45 post, the Release 45 telethon planning, the weekly character meeting, the weekly community meeting, office adjustments. See, what he did was he decided, I'm going to sit like this from now on. Oh, yeah. That's, he, raised, that's so he raised his chair two inches because... <sighs> Wait, yeah. I, I don't know what... Yeah, office adjustments. You know what? I hey. think I think he had to take his pants off to get more comfortable. Oh, that, that, that would have done it for me. Well, if, uh, if if you don't wear pants, it's not an issue. And then he also yeah. did some <laughs> release forty five. I don't, don't. Yeah, pants. So, so, so optional. Then after so that, optional. I, that's what our Overlord. dev said they were working on in yesterday's stand up. But. Speaking of Travian, did you Travian? Re did you read the the postmortem mini telethon stuff? I did not. Uh, oh, I noticed yeah. noticed the date, and I noticed that that was uh, immediately following Dragon Con. So everybody's going to be uh, having yeah. a case of dragon ass um, during that telethon. <laughs> and, and, it's all yeah. good, dragon but ass. I I will let you know that Travian Games is going to be at the postmortem. Oh, very nice. So, very nice. So it will they are going to be the publishers in Europe, Central and South America and some other country northern Africa and somewhere else. So, <clears throat> so don't forget September 6th 6th watch that postmortem mini telethon between 3 and 7 p.m. Central time. And don't forget to contribute $5 new cash for the 
rares. It, and, and they still refer to it as stretch goals. <laughs> yes, well, it's, uh, it's because you don't know whether they're going to get him or not until they raise the funds. And That's again, right. this yeah. is going to be interesting. This is going to be round two. Going to be interesting to see the next several months of telethons. We shall oh, yeah. see. But at we the, shall see at the 10k level. If they raise 10k, you get the virtue beer kug. Beer krug. Are we really doing that right now? You got two, two weeks. weeks. October first. Hey, hey. Well, you have to remember, Travian is a German company, and the it won't be released until the following month, which would be October. So they're preparing for it. Um, uh, well. did, did you want the all-important Virtue Oktoberfest beer, pretzel, and sausage banner? You of need course. $25,000 needs to be raised. What? Whereas what? the Oktoberfest tent with the garland decoration hanging from the ceiling is at $35,000. The... I don't know what the Dirndl is, even though they do say that that is the traditional female Bavarian outfit. outfit whereas the Lederhosen is the traditional male Bavarian outfit, whereas at 80k is the Virtue Flaming Tuba. The Sausage yeah. The Sausage Banner is at 25k. Uh, yes, all kinds yes, of things okay. will they also be going... What? I was going to say, what did they do? Did they just take a picture up your, up your kilt? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Nah. <laughs> I, if if they want a Vienna sausage, I know where they can they can go. Oh, where? That's up Led Zepp's kills. Exactly. Mm. That's a kabasa. Hey, don't don't be doing the point over here. <laughs> what are you talking you and about? I both noticed an eight-inch cock underneath there, so I don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you also know that there's an eight-inch cock under my kilt. That's as well. right. Although the, 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 the eight-inch cock is currently on my floorboard of the car. It's eventually, memorized. eventually it'll get cleaned off with a little, Fake. little dish Fake. soap. Yeah. Fake news. <laughs> but yes, <Fake> yes. <laughs> Don't. see, this is what happens. Led Zepp didn't go to Hobla, so he doesn't know about the eight-inch cock. I, I see yeah, pictures yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah. You guys yeah. playing with it and everything. Hey, by the way, note the image is a placeholder. I've got oh, a whole yes. bunch of beer steins t packed away someplace from Oktoberfest when I was in Germany. Well, yeah. But, you know, I think they're going to be a little lacking on the tent uh, because even a keep size tent would not compare to an Oktoberfest tent. At Oktoberfest, they have like seven tents, and those tents hold like 10,000 people each. Yep. That's a tent. <laughs> Yeah. A lot of beers, man. A lot of beer. Oh, man. Until you've seen these uh, uh, servers you, come running down with six liters in each hand, man. These That's women will knock you over. I know. They're yeah. rough. Yeah. Damn Russian hammer throwers. I tell you what, man. I had a hard enough time picking up one drinking from it. I don't oh, know how the hell huge. they carry six. They're huge. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. So th that will be coming. Don't forget. September 6th, yes, after right, after, Dragon right after Dragon Con, it will be a fun thing. But then, I mean, absolutely. It's like, are you ready to actually delve into the release 45 QA server? And all well, the I was all ready the, all, five minutes ago before you derailed for an event that's happening two weeks from now, so hey, I guess... I'm that was announced last night, and at happy hour, which you did not attend... The conversation right. was about the the rewards, and um, I was actually AFK during that section, and uh, <laughs> I was pulling a barrack. So, what what about the rewards? You had a bunch of players at happy hour the, talking about how much they would like to have these rewards. Absolutely. Well, hey, hey, that's it, nice. It, we'll email. tell them all about that two weeks from now. Yeah. <laughs> no, we won't. We'll forget. Yeah, well, that's right. Uh, <laughs> this is us we're talking that about. Six liters is just for one person. Yeah. yeah. You see them carrying 12, six in each hand. That's a table of two. That's right. That's seven pounds each or a gallon each, right? Gallons, seven pounds oh, a gallon. No, they're, they're a liter. 
And yeah. the, first off, these uh, mugs like, are made of glass, and it's, it's heavy glass. It's not thin glass. Leaded glass. I mean, it, 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 it yeah. I mean, What's the liter? I don't know how many pounds or how many gallons is that? It's, it's a little right. over well, a quart. Well, well, I'll, I'll let you in on this. Um, liters are part of the metric system. Quarts yes. are part of the imperial system. So, uh, liters into gallons doesn't work exactly. Doesn't work. I know. That's uh, three something. <laughs> yeah, I I hate, hate to tell you this, but uh, uh, American education system at work here, folks. Hey, they, <laughs> the, the, the Imperials oh, won won that yeah, fight back right. in the seventies, right. and that was it. Screw the metrics leaders. lost. <laughs> no stinking leaders. But uh, yes, moving right along. Uh, release forty five notes are out, and they are public, boys and girls. Now, while I'm tempted to throw these all up on the screen, um, I did. It's a mess. Yeah, you know, so well, uh, you've got the the post from Star where he's got things crossed out and other things. Well, that's that's the one. It's a mess, but uh, we're going to remind you folks that nothing here is written in stone. Nope. This is what is expected, but again, uh, you so, got to know what the key is. Yeah. So let's cover the key for you, folks, real quick. Plain text is going to be the original plan for release deliverables, and they intentionally preserve that so that way uh, backers can compare plan versus actuals. Italics is extra notes and new deliverables, whereas strike through means didn't quite make it, but it's still planned. So, yes, uh, you got to remember to read the whole thing when you're looking at it and understand what yes. the key is so that you know that you know it hasn't been nixed if it's got a strike through it just didn't make this it, release it's for those been pushed. new to this pushed. and again this is very very early rough draft uh, some of this is uh, all of this is subject to change um, at any time so do not uh, go 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 saying Oh man, you all said that you're gonna put this in. Doesn't work that well, way. It, so. It's it's kind of like the uh, last release. In the early notes, it actually said that the obsidian chips at the obsidian forge were gonna be go from 100 to a thousand. To a thousand. And that's, that's right. and, and that's where you ended up with all the players going out and buying as many obsidian chips and. It, Going to the Obsidian Forge to uh, do all kinds of crap. Stock market fix. And, uh, right. stock and, market and fix. Inside Not information. And, Inside and, information. And right and, and right when it went live, the new patch note said it became five hundred. That's right. So, uh, stop that prop. Whoops. Stop but the uh, prop. oops. Cat cat got your wire. <laughs> cat, cat's looking for love and a lot of love this morning. Uh, you know, put the pussy in yes. your lap and have a good time. Right? So, for example, the first thing that's going to be pushed is high va high veil outskirts. Uh, that um, not going to do it. Not going to make it. They are. They have been focusing on side quests and polish to the paths of truth and courage. So, uh, they're doing some updates to Etzeter. And then from there, Longfall Woods, which so we, let let's let, well, you let, want to well, read the we entire thing. Let's let, let's tell them what's going on with Etzer because again, we we've never been able to do this before, and of course, usually yes. we wait for the notes to come out and then we just run through them. But now that we have a week to uh, sit here and talk about them, since we can now talk about them. Wow. Um, yes. So, so Etzer was originally cloned from Kingsport and they made significant changes to the scene to make it unique. They still fe felt it needed more polish. It also needed more obvious visual references to the historical locations mentioned in the Sword of Midras. It's a book that Laz has not read and I have not read in a year. And additionally, after building Xenos, they established a characteristic Greco-Roman style for that region of the world, and they also wanted to propagate that look to nearby towns. For instance, Airy now has a little Xenos neighborhood. There goes the neighborhood. Yes. There it yeah. goes, man. Racist! Racist! Breaking out the neighborhood. Yes. 
Then after that, segregation. They segregate them off into little Xenos. Since Esser is the main port that takes you to Xenos, it only makes sense that it would have some strong influences from that style. They completed those goals for Exeter in release 45. Out in Longfall Woods, we have actually seen several updates related to Longfall Woods in the weekly updates. And don't forget, that's being done by... Uh, I forgot which dev. Yeah. Now, of Whoops. course, the Exeter... Exeter, I just got a kick out of the story there because uh, most people don't get to uh, hear that stuff. And uh, I thought it was pretty cool. They gave you a whole synopsis of all that good stuff. Although, storyline, what's that? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. L look at the bottom of, of my screen. Uh, what do you mean, the bottom of your screen? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here, kitty, kitty. She's gnawing on yeah, my, that, my... Yeah, now we, now we drive her crazy. Yeah. Then uh, over in Longfall Woods, it it is a heavily forested <laughs> Tier 2 zone near Airy in the Longfall region, which is right next to Snug Harbor, Laz's town. Oh, oh. Right. Snug Harbor, journey's end. You come see us when you're out in Longfall. We'll get you all taken care of. Then... Uh, Lumlord uh, Harbor. Slumlord Harbor. <laughs> I tell you what, my residents are happy campers out there. It, oh, wait. If you do have a POT and you are looking to offload it, uh, Pete the Noob is looking for one. I heard this morning. Very wait, cool. Way, way Very too cool. early. So, yes. Is he looking for a specific size or just any size to get in, get his foot in the door? I, I think he's looking to buy one because he's got a residence out there somewhere. I forgot where. In a POT. Um, but uh, I, I don't I don't know what size he's looking for. I, I, I don't know. So, but Pete the new. And then, uh, let's see. Where was I at for Longfall Woods? Well, uh, lots of new scenes. Yes. Uh, then Middle Downs is a hilly, hilly tier one near the mountains with a network of burial mounds and an abandoned village. Um, South Broken Road is a tier two scene compromised of winding road through the mountains filled with various en encounters, inclu including people that want to plunder the booty and some undead. Plunder the booty. The truth. I like booty. Oh, absolutely. I love plundering the booty. Um, the Truth and Courage side quests, they have working extensively on that. One example in release 45 is a quest, quest to save Mildred that sends you to Middle Downs. And an example of a repeatable activity related to Courage is in Resolute and Airy, but they can't talk about it because of its first rule. First rule. A fight Don't club. Talk about it. First rule of Fight Club is don't talk about Fight Club. Now, if you're talking about the rules, I mean, you're not talking about the Fight Club, are you? What rules? I don't know what you're you talking about. No stinking rules. We don't need no stinking badges. We don't, we don't need no stinking badges. badges. We've got a spoiler <laughs> alert for the next couple things. Ready for spoiler alert? Yeah. So now the cat is hanging out on my clean clothes, and I think he's going to nap in the closet. Yeah. So now everyone who receives credit for killing an obsidian cobblest will also receive an amount of courage virtue. Courage. Yes. courage and then also we get courage i need some love <laughs> oh we need lots of love we need some love so let, you let, girls out there you know we need lots of loving on the pet love you, you know who needs <laughs> more love <laughs> than both of us blood zip blood zip yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all that time we thought it was getting all that cheap loving but look what happened i know it's <laughs> jeez 
Oh, th oh. yeah. Th thanks for p pushing my clothes off the shelf. Oh, there w was not enough room to get comfortable, so <laughs> she's kind of you know, <laughs> off the shelf. <laughs> Seriously, she just pushed my clean clothes off the shelf. Oh, I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> moving in, that's moving in. Like, seriously, like now she's like crawling out of the closet. It's like, what? What are you talking about? Wasn't me. Okay, then. Uh, <laughs> further spoilers. spoilers. Can, players can now visit the three colossi um, and visit an oracle automaton to sacrifice themselves. I invoke the death penalty decay or death a penalty and thus gain the dread reagents needed to power the dread artifacts. And please note that due to the power of these artifacts, only one of any type can be obtained at a time. Now, we, we got uh, yeah, into a question one. about this yesterday. How do you interpret that? Does that mean you can have only one for any of the single artifacts, or you can have one for each of the artifacts at any given time? I interpret it as one for any of the artifacts. One of any. Um, um, because the, the thing was, it's supposed to be a super powerful spell, and every time you want to cast a different one, you have to go back and sacrifice yourself for the next reagent. Now, the next question, of course, was when you did the quests, you, if you finished all the quests, you have all three of them on you to begin with. Yes. Okay, so if I have all three of them and I go visit, what happens? But, I guess we're going to have to go chest that. Well, then you still need to... I think you have to talk with the Oracle Automaton and say which reagent you want. Yeah, we'll have to go look at that because we can do that and now we can talk about it. Wait, so. you, you finished the Path of Love? No, no, but we can check it out on the test server. Need to finish the Path of Love. Did you finish it there? <laughs> I didn't finish it anywhere. Yeah. I gotta finish it. Now, Somewhere. this is something that's extremely controversial because the Daily Experience Award was moved by request. I don't know if by who. They have moved the Daily Pooled Experience Award so that it is now awarded by the Oracle as part of her virtue test. Yes. Uh, now, uh, this is not what the public was asking for as far as we understand and as part of that um you know one of the things that people wanted was that the quest be set or reset on every to every day at the same time so that uh, it wasn't uh, a continually evolving you know, you log in at 12 o'clock and then midnight reset and then the next day you log in at 12 and you have to wait till 12.01. And then the next day you log in and you got to wait till 12.02. Uh, All they wanted it was to reset on a daily basis at the same time so that they got their login bonus. Now, I don't think we can call it a daily login bonus if you're going, you have to go do something to get it. Uh, right. In my opinion, a login bonus is a bonus for logging in. That That is what that terminology suggests. Yeah, now, if I've got to log Lord, in and then go run someplace and travel someplace, that's not a log in bonus. bonus. Hello? The runner bonus. Yeah. And of course, if you're going to make that tied in, then you, you need oracles in more places. That's it. Yeah, but I, like this uh, right here. I, think, I think they really screwed the pooch on that one. List does have. Hey, teleport me to yeah, the. Yeah, uh, take Oracle. a walk to the nearest Oracle. Uh, uh, yeah. Walk around, man. What is going on here, List? Take a walk to the nearest Oracle. Where is it, List? Wait, does, does <laughs> List actually know this? Where the nearest Oracle is? Yeah, I'm, I want. I want to know if he knows. Moongate, it. It. No, Moongate is not an Oracle. Ardoris is not Doris. the closest. Ardoris is not Make the closest one Doris? either. I don't have time to go, Doris. What the heck? Yeah, first off, 
Half the people I know won't even set foot in are Doris or Brittany because it'll lag on their machine. So, Isle of Storms. Ah, that's an interesting one. <laughs> but there's only eight places in the world you can access that moon gate. So, shoot that one down. <laughs> anyway, the daily login bonus was a bonus for logging in. That's why you named it a daily login bonus. Otherwise, it's a daily quest. Okay, yeah. there's a difference between a daily quest and a daily login bonus. Please change the name if it's not a login bonus. Come on, get your terminology straight. Yeah, I tell you. Listen, less, listen, less, <laughs> but, uh, listen. For those of you folks who who <laughs> requested <laughs> this, I would suggest uh, very strongly that you go out and. Um, make request. sure that, that they, your request was understood because that's not the way yeah. I understood it. That's not the way most of us understood it. So Reset um, it at a certain time each day so that way it doesn't keep on getting you know, pushed. And the same thing for the Oracle, which I thought they did, but I still seem to have the same recurring problem where if I check at 6 o'clock, uh, next yeah. time I go back at 6 o'clock, I got to wait till after 6 o'clock. I don't know if it's me or not, but yeah. And I don't know, but moving, moving, right, right, moving along. right along, we do have Sequana, the Titan of Love, now properly displays the visual effect of the Heart of Soros while she has it equipped. Okay. Out in Malice, they reconstructed the Skeleton Barrier puzzle using the new interactive system and updated the clue letter to re reference gems instead of letters. More work on improving Malice is scheduled for release 46. And you moved your mic when you did all that. You mean when I sne sneezed? Whatever you did when oh. you went to move the cat or put your clothes back up or whatever it was. Did, did I completely kill my mic? No, no. You sounded like you were in the bathroom. That's better now. Maybe I just need to move closer. Or I, I, I could up a little bit. Uh, You're good. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, right right there. Right right there. Right there. Oh, right, oh, right. oh, yeah. Okay, so... Reach, reach, reach a little deeper, will you? Yes. And then uh, out in Solace Bridge, they adjusted the location of the starter bow to make it easier to find for new players. You mean the one in the rack right in front of you? That one? Yeah, not always easy to see when you're looking at new visuals. It, well, I, I think that would be the perfect place for Edvard to actually open up a trade window and say, here's a bow. Here's a bow. Yeah, you know, I mean, and, yeah, and, go figure. And then automate that process, but... Uh, but, uh, I, I have always had a, an issue with the new user experience, and I see it as something that still needs lots of work. Absolutely. And, and why absolutely. you why are you mooing me? Oh wait, uh, because it's that time. It's that time to talk about the <laughs> past that time. The, the NBN in app. It's past that time. And of course, we've got much more of this. We've got a week's worth of this to bring you folks. Yeah. And a uh, lot, lot of stuff. There's some stuff I played with last night. Uh, scraps, yeah. interesting stuff. Uh, interesting points on scraps and all sorts of interesting stuff. Discord integration. Discord integration needs a lot of work. Uh, it needs a lot of love. A lot of work. Hey, hey, but, but, but we're not supposed to be talking about that. The NBN app which you can find on all of your electronic devices via the Google Play Store, the Apple iTunes Store, or the Amazon App Store. Just do a search for NBNN or Shroud of the Avatar or Soda, and you should be able to find it. And that's with that's a T, right. not a D. Sota. Sota. That's right. Yeah. Get the NBNN Soda app. That's right. Otherwise, you and might if, find a uh, Am Soda or something like that. If you're too lazy, you can go to nbnn.info, go to the main page, scroll down a bit, just click on one of those buttons, uh, depending on what device you have, and it'll bring you to the Play Store, and you can send it to your device that way as well. But of course, the NBNN Soda app has all sorts of great stuff for you, including uh, the NBNN Daily Britannian the podcasts of Lunch and Laz and Jack, links to radio stations, links to the forums, links to Soda Map, Soda Help, and much, much more, including the Shroud of the Avatar community calendar hosted on nbnn.info. You mean that 
Google Calendar that you have aggregated all of the available public calendars related to Shroud of the Avatar that you know about. All and these calendars up on screen. I yes, know. that's that's and, the one. All and if those you, calendars. If you have a Google <laughs> public calendar related to Shroud of the Avatar and you want it added so that way we, we read out your events, you need to email news at nbnn.info and that guy will eventually guy. do something with it. Don't oh, forget. Don't forget, Jack Spam there. don't forget all times on all the community time. Ta- uh, community calendar are central time in the real world but we prefer to refer to it as nude britannia time nude britannia time at 12s and 6s around the clock you need to tune in your ether amplifiers to wrfb wrfb you forgot the dot rocks again dot rocks yes and listen to two idiots interpret the news so you don't God have rocks. to on a little show called Lunch with us. At 7 p.m. tonight, you can join the Phoenix Republic for PvE nights in case in Phoenix Fire might actually be there. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Or right. you can always contact uh, Maul Hari for more information as they go explore all kinds of different scenes. At 7 p.m. on Radio Free Britannia, W-R-F-B Dot rocks The 70s at 7 At 8 o'clock You'd better be listening To W-R-F-B Nurse Because Somebody's going to be massaging your ear holes And that is none other After the doctor cut you up yesterday Well after the doctor probed it The nurse comes in and massages it That's right yeah, makes she, you feel all better and kisses your boo boo. Oh, oh, absolutely. Yeah. She, she can kiss my boo boo anytime she feels like it, and I expect that text to be like pineapple in like five seconds. <laughs> uh, this is uh, one for kissing. What? 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 Mom? She's what? not one for kissing. More like smacking you around when you need it, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> Give me around. Yeah. That's what I need. A good look. Yeah. Jack takes a lick in and keeps on ticking. Well, you need to get your licks in. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is unmedicated schizophrenia. Part do. Do. Part do. Let me to bed. I, you've got the part one and the part do. <laughs> the then, then, then after that, don't forget the final event of the evening is on WRFB. W-R-F-B Dot Rocks And that is the record room <laughs> And the only people that are going to get that one And figure out why Laz is laughing so much Are in Everybody are in who's Twitch watching or on YouTube. video yeah. That's all <laughs> Are in Are in What kind of grammar queen are you <laughs> oh, no. are Redneck one What is it Waiting Waiting in English teacher here Are in <laughs> That's right. All right. Moving right along. About time to wrap it up here. We got a few minutes uh, left. And, of course, it wouldn't be a show without thanking all the good folks out there who help uh, keep this show on the air. And, of course, let me remind you that NDNN is the only show on the air that invites you, the listener, to come join us right here in the studio in-game five days a week and come talk to us about what's going on in game or you can hang out in our twitch chat and hopefully once we get to a communication in the game you'll be able to chat with us directly in the game through twitch as well uh great stuff coming down the pipe hopefully but needs work but meanwhile uh don't forget uh the airy fund uh think pink coming up i gotta change that logo get the think pink lo- logo up there for everybody but uh, look for our community cause and the Airy Fund, uh, gamers helping gamers and playing for a cause out there. Coilmore Wands, our own Arius Coilmore, on the air every Monday night with the GMC Top 20 and uh, putting the magic wood in your hands. If you need a custom stave or wand, go check out Arius Coilmore of Coilmore Wands and he'll get you taken care of. Scrotum music. <laughs> Scrotum music. Britannian Mining yeah. Company wants you 
<laughs> Come on down. Screw to Mark's Road. <laughs> And check out all the merchants down there. They've got all the goods you need for crafting all the items that you want. Located conveniently in Black Rock Cove in the Quell region, right next to the town of Etzeter and the Etzeter Mines. And convenient hop away over to the Elysium Mines. So go check them out. All sorts of good stuff happening over there. Relicspyrill.com for all your licensed Shrouded Avatar swag. If you need t-shirts like Jack and I are wearing, you need hats, not this hat. Patches, yes, you can get these patches. Bumper stickers like the NBNN, I love this shit bumper sticker. Glassware, shot glasses, coffee mugs, hoodies, t-shirts, tank tops, you name it. Rill's got it and much, much more. Go out to relicsbyrill.com and if you want to save a little money when you check out, use the promo code NBNN when you check out at relicspyreal.com and you can save 10% off of your purchase. Yay! Yay! What happened? There we go. WRFB. You already talked about that one. Yay. <laughs> of course, bringing you all sorts of great stuff throughout the week on the in game radio. Oh, you can listen in on the web. RadioFreeBritannia.com WRFB Dot rocks That's right And uh, of course uh, Like I said Arius on every Monday uh, The uh, Sarah and Andar show Every Thursday night uh, That was Wednesday night Thursday morning Those guys were on er earlier today The Divas Every Wednesday and Thursday as well uh, who else we got out there? House of Omen every late night, early Saturday, late night, early Sunday, whatever you want to call it. And of course, us on the airwaves. Check out WRFB for all sorts of great entertainment throughout the day and throughout the week right here inside Shrouded Avatar. And last but not least, ShroudMarketplace.com for all your virtual vendable needs. Is if you need something and it's in game and you ain't got the time you can go out to shroudmarketplace.com and get all your virtual vendable goods jack you want to tell them all about the marketplace yeah the shroud marketplace is the place to go buy or sell anything shroud of the avatar related from accounts to game gold rounds of the obsidian all the way to new houses and deeds to you know what crafting items teleports recall scrolls anything and everything including artifacts or services every single one of the vendors all 62 of them currently 62 each vendors 62 different player shop. vendors who are responsible for setting their own prices and maintaining their own inventory so when you make an order off shroud marketplace it goes straight to them and then boom they get to deliver it to you that's right and i mean i don't know but like a brand new tax-free rollout deed has been added to Shroud Marketplace from a cry and shame. So if you're looking for a tax-free rollout, you can always find that. If you're looking for some dragon statues, I've got some of those. If you're looking for Crowns of the Obsidian, don't forget to visit uh, Artifacts and Rares or Armelian Shop. If you're looking for Game Gold, lots and lots of people are selling that. If you're looking for Teleports Recall Scrolls, definitely check out my shop. You know what? If you're looking for some services like Mal's Power Hour and you need that extra XP, you can contact Maliki. If you're looking for uh, some cheese sign writing, you can contact Agar via Wolfdom Shop. Your soda design services, Scroda's Music Service, where $5 gets you. Scroda's anything, anything you want. want. Yeah. And if you go to like that earliest, Scroda <laughs> Music. Yeah. It's, it's it's like that article that you wrote in the Daily Britannian. That's right. Yeah, I, I took from that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you're looking for an in-game wedding, you need to contact Weddings and More by Laz. That's right. Up on the screen, you can see my store out there at the marketplace. Lazarus Long's Weddings and More. Not just weddings, but a whole lot more. If you're looking for houses, you're looking for a place to live, you're looking for a room, you're looking for a lot, you're looking to get hitched, 
come see me because I can get you all taken care of. You want to get married and you need a wedding dress because you just can't afford one. Laz will get you taken care of and your whole wedding party. Tuxes, wedding dresses, lots, you name it, we've got it. Lazarus Long's Weddings and more in the ShroudMarketplace.com. And don't forget, if you want to start selling your stuff on Shroud Marketplace, you need to register for an account by clicking on vendor registration. And don't forget, uh, as we said earlier this morning, that the web hosting company is having some DNS issue and they are... <laughs> cat, yeah. cat, 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 cat just jumped for some odd reason. <laughs> and hit you in the cojones. And latched on with the claws and jumped up. It's, ah, even more fun. Yeah. But meanwhile, and, yeah, so it's don't forget time to thank all the great folks <laughs> out there for joining us. And thank you to the most important people. Day. And that's you guys watching out on Twitch, YouTube, or listening on WRFB. We couldn't do the show without you guys, and we do it for you guys. So thank you for hanging out with us. And I'm hoping that... Oh, jeez. You're hoping that he didn't uh, get a claw into a vein there? Man, I'd, I'd show you my <laughs> pants right now to see where she yeah, like, yeah. put holes yeah, in it. wearing no pants. Yeah. yeah we or I could show you my thigh. That's right. Uh, and, and then you'll be like, ow. Yeah, so, but thank, thank you, everybody, but for hanging out with us. That's right. We got to get out of here. We'll be back tomorrow with the weekend roundup telling you what's going on this weekend inside Shredder the Avatar and cover and much, much more. But till then, I'm Lance. I'm Jack. And we are NBNN. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you all tomorrow. Yay. Yeah. Oh, God. Clear.